Hi, well, so, um, what can I tell you? Uh, I arrived in Australia in 1984, it was just before Christmas, and my mate picked me up at the airport, and we went to North Sydney, where he lives. We had a few beers, and we had a bit of a smoke, and then we came over to the Chevron, in King's Cross. King's Cross, where we're sitting right now, which is not that anymore. It's, it's now a ritzy restaurant called Fratelli Fresh. Italian restaurant, whatever. Really nice food, by the way. And I'm like 30 years older than I was then. But um, uh, So we came there and we watched and he, My mate worked for EMI, Sony EMI, back then. And he says, you're going to see some good Australian bands while you're over here and all this, because I was just on holiday. And so we watched the Hootie Gurus. And um, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, so I, what was it? I in the Silver Spade well. room? Or no, uh, all I can remember about it was, I remember the word Chevron. Yeah. I remember coming up some steps, in, yeah. in past bouncers and crap like that, yeah. up in. And then there was a bar area, and then you just walked through these doors into this open stand-around arena. It wasn't massive. Standing room only. Standing room only, and you could get three, 400 people in there. I, I, I guess, I'm guessing, because a long time ago. And, and I enjoyed it. it. So it's like, was it busy? Uh, no, I would say it was um, It was a Sunday night. I, I remember I was arriving on Sunday. So for a Sunday night, I imagine it was moderately packed. It certainly wasn't sold out. And it um, seemed like people were catching up with each other, actually, more than anything else. People. And what were they like, the gurus? They were good. They were very tight. I really liked their... Uh, I could feel that these guys play well together. But um, to be honest with you, ultimately their music didn't... I didn't go, yeah, this is it. But i just come from London... Um, and a punk had been a thing for me for years and so I was a bit arrogant and we know best and all that crap which I then got disavowed of Paul Kelly did that very quickly to me and um, uh, Mental As Anything cracked me up when I first saw them not in the cross but um, uh, who was the other band uh, the, the Do Re Mi and I wanted to just uh, I then went to a place in Paddington saw Do Re Mi and the woman had hairy armpits, and I was in love with her from that moment. Um, singer for Dore Me. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And she was a really good singer, too. That was my cross experience, and that was the first night I was in Australia. And everyone was, and we were driving up to the, you know, the Hyatt Regents, the Coke sign, and I was like, what's this fucking traffic jam? And it was, you know, everyone was just cruising, because that's what they did back then. Yeah, the well, still do it. Yeah, I'm sure they do, but... It seems pointless and stupid to me, but we were actually going somewhere, so... Okay.